Hi everybody, this is Bill Trotter. I'm a reporter with the Bangor Daily News in Bangor, Maine. And right now, I'm sitting in a boathouse uh, on Mount Desert Rock, which is a barren patch of land, um, mostly exposed uh, a ledge. Uh, it's about three acres in size, and it's about 20 miles uh, due south of uh, Mount Desert Island here in the Gulf of Maine. And uh, I'm sitting in the top of the boathouse, uh, which was recently uh, rebuilt just last year, I think. Uh, there's a little observation deck up here. Um, College of the Atlantic owns the facilities out here, and they bring students out here to uh, conduct field research. Um, there uh, are birds, seabirds, that come out here and nest. Uh, there are seals uh, that uh, nest on the island um, and live on the island. And uh, because Mount Desert Rock is essentially a uh, sea mount that's exposed at the top, um, there are a lot of rich grounds right around uh, Mount Desert Rock where whales feed. And sometimes you can see whales uh, within a short distance off uh, the shore here. I don't see any right now, um, but uh, they, they do come around fairly frequently. I'll show you the view that I have uh, out the window here. That is uh, the former lighthouse. You can see the lighthouse tower behind it, um, where College of the Atlantic staff and students stay when they come out here, normally in the summer, uh, for a week at a time or so, uh, to uh, observe the birds and the seals. You can see some of the birds out here on the rock, um, the ledge in front of me, lots of herring gulls, some black back gulls, um, some eider ducks, uh, they, they nest out here uh, and raise their young. Um, this facility is, is interesting uh, and unusual in that it's a field research station um, that is fairly remote. Uh, it's one of the most remote field stations, if not the most remote, uh, along the east coast of the United States. Um, and it's where undergraduate students from College of the Atlantic can come out here and get valuable experience and learn about uh, the challenges of conducting field research uh, and learn about obviously whales and seals and birds, uh, but also um, uh, get some firsthand experience with the challenges of being uh, this far away from shore and having to deal with learning how to how to live and conduct re field research in a place where you don't have electricity or running, running water or easy access to supplies. Um, and in 2009, this station was uh, severely damaged by Hurricane Bill. Uh, the storm surge uh, washed over the island and it was completely submerged. This boathouse where I'm sitting now was washed away entirely. Um, There's significant damage to the lighthouse. Water was uh, inside the building. Furniture was getting thrashed around inside the building uh, from the storm surge. And there's a classroom building behind here, uh, two walls of which were taken out uh, entirely, and the, build, the building was structurally unsound. Um, College of Atlantic has decided to, uh, to rebuild, and in fact, it did rebuild, obviously. I'm in the boathouse that got rebuilt last year, um, with a significant donation that they received from the Mars family. Um, uh, so I'm out here checking the facilities out and talking to some of the students and staff uh, about uh, why COA uh, is committed to maintaining its presence out here and why this location is a special place uh, for uh, learning about field research and learning about the natural world uh, here in the Gulf of Maine.